I'm going to drop some hints for you here on how to use Maple to help make your life a little bit easier when dealing with polar coordinates. We will be doing double integrals in polar coordinates and so you need to know what polar curves look like and sometimes they can be a little tricky so Maple can help you out. This is the front screen of Maple. I'm guessing most of you have used Maple before. I think you told me you have. But anyway, when you fire up Maple from any campus computer, this is the first screen you generally come to. And you just select New Document and let it rip. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this quick help screen because it's in the way. And here we go. So here is how you can get polar curves plotted. The first thing you have to do is tell Maple, hey Maple, I want to plot polar curves. The libraries for plotting fancy things are not automatically loaded. Easy plotting routines are loaded already, but fancier ones are not. So what we have to do is call it in. So we have to say with, which is telling Maple, hey, you're about to load an extra package, and that package is called plots. So with plots is what you type in and then hit return. And in the brackets is a whole bunch of different types of curves that you can now make uh, using Maple. And in particular, over here is polar plot right there in all the P's. And that's what we're going to use. So uh, a couple of suggestions. First of all, we're going to make heavy use of the Greek letter theta because that's one of the key ingredients in polar coordinates and also pi. So what I'm going to do is in this left hand side with all the templates, I've opened up the Greek letter template and I'm going to take theta, right click on it and tell it to add it to my favorites palette. And I'm going to take pi and these are the lowercase versions, right click on it add it to my favorites palette. The favorites palette is up there on top and now I have quick access to theta and pi and I don't have to always scroll down and open up the Greek tablet. Unfortunately if you're using Maple on a networked machine the favorites bar will clear out uh, every time you start it up fresh so you'll have to do this every time if you want them accessible. If you have your own version then once you set your favorites they are there for good. So uh, the command to make a polar plot in Maple is polar plot. Here's how it works. Polar plot. There you go. Then you have to tell Maple what you're about to plot. The first expression you put in is the function that you would like to plot. So I'm just going to make one up here. Let's say we want to plot two times sine of theta. Now I've got to go grab theta from my favorites palette and click on it. There it is. Type it in. And how about plus cosine of theta so that's the curve I want to plot. Now I have to tell it how much of the curve to plot. So I'm going to put a comma in there and I'm going to tell it that theta needs to run from 0 to 2 pi. And the way you do that is you name the variable theta, click, and equals 0 dot dot 2 pi. And I always recommend putting in the hard multiplication. So use the asterisk key on the keypad um, for multiplication. So this is telling us that we're going to plot 2 sine theta plus cosine theta for a range of theta values from 0 to 2 pi. Close the parentheses and hit enter. Uh, if you, it's, this is optional, but if you put a semicolon at the end of a command, it will reduce any clutter that it wants to echo back to the screen. Uh, so there we go. There is 2 sine theta plus cosine theta plotted uh, with a nice little polar grid in the background. And then from here, you can add more plots down farther on the screen, um, or you can just come back up here and modify it. Let's say, whoops, I wanted that to be 2 sine theta times cosine theta. Edit it, hit enter. There is a new version of that curve. Um, 2 sine theta times cosine of 4 theta. There's that curve. So you can make pretty quick adjustments and start getting a good sense of what these curves look like. Uh, if we want to plot r equals theta alone, just because I like this curve, it's nifty. It's pretty easy. Here's r equals theta. This turns out to be a spiral, so let's take it out to uh, 6 pi just so we see more of it. There we go. There's the red curve, and that's the spiral. That's the curve r equals theta in polar coordinates. So with this uh, roping in of plotting commands with the, the with plots command and also the use of polar plot, you can generate quick polar coordinate graphs pretty easily. So if you need them to generate bounds for a double integral, you know what you're looking at.